what's new here thank you for tuning in to another video of the CPA T series if you haven't already please make sure to subscribe below um, and also turn on the notification bell below which will alert you anytime um, I post a new video in addition to that make sure to check out any of the other CPA T series videos that I've done I've done videos regarding um, just tips and tricks that I have when studying for all the, all the four parts of the CPA exam. Let's get started. One, finding where to live, right? First, you need to find where to live, obviously, if you're moving into the city. I think that um, finding an apartment that I like in New York City, um, specifically I live in Manhattan, um, it was a bit challenging apartment hunting, it was kind of stressful. Uh, just because it goes by super quickly, right? Like if you like a place as your as your apartment hunting, um, you need to make sure that you communicate communicate that you like the that you like the place to the broker or to the you know apartment uh, property manager, etc., and get the paperwork started as soon as possible. Because if you wait a few days, sometimes, especially if you're moving in in the summer, etc., and other folks are looking at the same apartment, it might get swept from under your feet. So that's one, and then the other thing is just finding space that you like. You pay so much, so much money for rent, and yet the spaces are tiny. Um, given I live in Manhattan, like I mentioned, maybe had I moved to some of the other boroughs, I would have found you know bigger spaces or had that option. But I wanted to kind of stay close to work. Um, but nevertheless, you know, you pay, you do not get the bank for your buck here in Manhattan. I would say. Um, you need to kind of really identify what's important to you, whether it's, you know, grocery store close by, laundry in the building, um, do you want an elevator, do you want a doorman, there are certain things that you may need to sacrifice and just go, go you know, when you're apartment hunting, just apartment hunt with an open mind. Two, I would say access. Being in a larger city, what's a pro is that you're able to have access to so many individuals. You can meet people anywhere. Um, but then again, having access to different individuals is different from actually taking advantage of that access, right? Because you need to put yourself out there. Um, but if you did want to put yourself out there, there's the opportunity to do so. I know folks that live in smaller cities and there's not really, there's not much going on. You know, they kind of get into the habit, their everyday habit, and there's not like as much excitement. Whereas New York City, you know, I can go outside and something there's always something that's going on whether it's like a food festival or some I go to Central Park and you know they're like dancers or whatever the case may be um, catch a Broadway show you know go to Smorgasburg in, in Brooklyn Williamsburg etc so there's always something to do day parties night parties boat parties darty whatever parties you want lounges you can you know go out go outside read a book at the park lots of things to do um, a lot of different types of food I would say so um, and also just happy hours and different things to do after work so there are a lot of places where you can hang out with your co-workers as well um, and easily go to a happy hour after work and and things of that nature number three I would say is working in a larger city also I feel like you have the uh, the ability to have you know a wide variety of different clients and opportunities to clients. If I wanted to get into like oil and gas or you know a certain type of industry, I would move you know to the south to Houston. Um, whereas here in New York, I think for the most part, I mean you can find tech companies. There's banking, asset management, insurance. There's real estate. Uh, media and entertainment, right? So there's a wide variety of different types of clients and industries that you should that you can pick from um, when you're working here. And so I think that that's that's something that I really appreciate about being in in, a, in the New York City office. Four is also working in a New York City office. Um, the office is huge, right? So you're bound to meet and network with so many different individuals that you do not work with. Whereas I intern in a smaller office in Connecticut and the office um, of my firm was about maybe two, like one to two floors of the building. Whereas here in New York City, um, it's a lot bigger. You can go to different events and things like that and meet people. So I think th that's a great opportunity as well because you never know, maybe they're in a service line or um, working on a client that you would want to work for and, and or a project that you would want to be on um, and therefore you can easily network and get to know people like that. So five, 
This is more so a con for living in New York. Um, growing up in Connecticut, I had my car. Um, I, you know, you, you drive everywhere, right? And so I had access. I was able to just get from point A to point B, you know, just driving my car, etc. Whereas, like here in New York, you kind of need to get used to like taking the subway, taking the bus. Even when you're Ubering, sometimes it takes a lot longer because of the traffic. So at times, the subway is like your quickest option to get somewhere. All right, guys, thank you for tuning in. Um, please make sure to like this video, follow me on Instagram, oh, it's Noom, uh, and yeah, I'll be back with another video.